today we are going to see how you can build ai voice agent using live kit okay live kit is fully open source it also used by open ai and other industries or other industry leaders as well so if you learn live kit how to build ai voice agent it's not that much difficult to build ai voice agent using live kit it is so easy okay uh, before start this series will be going to be uh, not just one video it will going to be got 10 to 13 videos in this series i'm going to in detail about how you can build production ready ai voice agents with all the functionality like function calling knowledge base and all other stuff i know yeah here some people are also non technicals and if you are non technical still i recommend watch at the end because today we are not going to write a single line of code we are going to use the template that given by live kit that we are going to set up and we are going to build our first ai voice agent without coding by live kit okay i'm calling without coding means you don't require to do code today it just set up their basic template and see how our voice agent will be work okay let's start first you want to go on livekit.io and click on start building i have already created project if you are first time then then you have some process sign up it is easy you can do that okay right now what i did okay i have youtube after going that just click on settings and api keys you just click on uh, create api key right now it just open and reveal secret and i am just copying this secret okay uh, that's it for now of live kit and the next task this is the github repo that we are going to clone and use this repo okay requisite for this okay you require a python 3 of uh, python 3.10 3.13 you want your your latest so you can also download 3.10 that the first prerequisite okay just go on your ide if you don't know ide it is a code editor i know i'm just talking like very from basics but there are some folks they are new they don't know but still they want to explore for them as well okay just go on your code editor right now i'm using winsup it is a ai code editor in your side in your case you must be on cursor uh, vs code and other stuff okay there is no any uh, specific requirement you just go on uh, Print stuff. Okay. Right now, I have builted some couple of voices, and but right now, I'm just going to create. Uh, if you are first time, then you see some other there. You didn't see any project. Okay. Right now, I'm just click on file, open folder. Here, uh, what I'm going to do? Create a simply new project, new folder, and select folder. Just uh, go on a terminal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just go on fi uh, files. Okay. That of uh, three lines. and terminal is and new terminal you get open right uh, first we want to clone the repo just add command git clone and paste that oh, where where is the github repo just go on code and copy this url paste it here okay it will cloning our voice agent or code okay for simplicity what i did i'm just uh, shifting this stuff like shifting this file in our main file that we have created I'm just moving. I'm not. You can still there, but I'm just moving that files in our main. Okay. Let uh, our repo has cloned. And next task is. Ha. Next task is to create a Python environment because our agent is Python based. Okay. You can just visit our agent dot py, and this is totally Python based. For that, we first require to environment. First, we want to create uh, our Python virtual environment. In that environment, we are going to install our dependencies okay first add command python minus m v e n v v e n v okay just i have add that and hit enter and it will create a virtual environment okay you can see here in our file our environment was get created and next task is to activate that environment to activate the environment add command add command v n v slash script slash activate let me put it here the v n v slash script slash activate and hit enter our environment uh, is activated the our next job be in dot env dot example we want to require add our api keys for here we want to add our live kit url or api i have added 
all the API keys. Okay, first we want require OpenAI for LLM, DeepGram for speech to text, and Cartesia for speech to text. Right, so I'm not going to tell uh, for how you can create API keys on OpenAI. It is too easy. You can search or so also do a Google and just go and create account and create API keys. Oh, for now, DeepGram give some free credits. Cartesia also give provide some free credits. But you want to require open API key. You want to pay some money, get some credits. Don't use these APIs. Uh, after this lecture, I'm going to delete these APIs. Okay. Next task uh, to update the name. Okay. Here dot uh, env dot example. You want to just edit the rename this file dot env dot local. Our first task completed that we have updated our .env.local file with our API keys. Right now, next task is to install the dependencies. Okay, uh, first uh, just add a command. Okay, just go on to install. Py next task is to install our Python dependencies, whatever our requirement file. Just add command pip install minus r requirement.txt and hit enter. And it will get good proceed to install our dependencies. Okay, it, it will it will take some time to install all those dependencies. Okay, before to get uh, uh, let's see our agent.py. It is a simple our AI agent code. In dot env package, we are importing our dot env dot local that the uh, api keys okay the next some uh, like uh, the next uh, live quit dot agent here has some processes are here the next for some plugin we are using like cartesia and uh, like cartesia open ai and deepgram or other plugins and here we are created our agent our voice agent what happened here first we are created a function in that we have created a super function this is a basically agent voice pipeline what it happen first it this is our prompt instruction means this is our prompt and this is our deep gram for speech to text model this is our LLM model this is our Cartesia for the text to speech and in turn, de in turn detection means suppose I have stopped the speaking then the agent the next turn of agent then agent will detect okay user has stopped and this is my turn to speak next that has a that is turn that is a turn detection and the next is a, suppose uh, when agent has enter in call then what first agent will speak okay instruction is hey just give a reply how i can talk today that's a simple reply and hollow interruption means key a uh, user can interrupt that first message that's it and still our dependencies are got on download it it takes some time don't worry and the next has some code basics uh, you can say you can see as a boilerplate don't worry about all this stuff what is this and just use simple simple code that has use the simple one use the sim use don't try to okay, our all dependencies are got downloaded and the next command we want to to test our voice agent the first command you want to enter that is python agent.py download files when when you run the first time agent then it will require to run this command the next time if you want to run agent again then you don't require it just uh, install the some an another dependencies our that our some dependencies are got installed the next step was to run our agent python agent.py start our agent has run okay it has starting and all the stuff to check or to test our agent we want to go on the website playground okay we want to go on playground right now have with youtube project just connect to youtube or what your project name and let's see what's our long in our it seems like there may be a typo or some ambiguity in your request okay well, if you're it looks like your message got cut off. Could you please provide more details or clarify what you'd like yes, to discuss? Hi, hi, buddy. What's up? What's your name? And who who build you? Hi there. I'm your voice assistant, created by VJ. You can call me whatever you'd like. Thanks. Congrats, you guys. If you are, if you, I, 
if you do all these steps step by step then you build your first ai voice agent without writing uh, any single line of code okay uh, let's uh, they have okay let's see what are other like uh, this is yaml don't touch other files just you want to go to require to agent.py okay using this uh, if you have some issue i have created discord channel discord community then connect that community and if you have any question you can ask there and you can also ask me in youtube comment as well but try to ask in discord community that i got a direct message okay thanks for this video and this is our first video we are going to also create next series of videos for that subscribe the channels and also hit the like button